Hey Diana, I wanted to contribute to the contest and embrace the weirdness. And um, so um, I have looked through some records and of course I did not manage to keep it uh, just uh, down to three results. But uh, there is something like honorary mentions, isn't that how we do it <laughs> these days? So uh, I start with some, and I will keep it really quick, it's not supposed to be a lengthy video. The first one you are probably very familiar with, I'm talking about music inspired by Watership Down by Bo Hansson, which doesn't look that strange at the first sight, but then you turn it around and uh, uh, have to face this photograph, which I find quite disturbing, but maybe it has different effects on different people. I find it very strange. Now this one is a real classic amongst the odd uh, album covers. Love Beach by Amherst Lake and Palmer. Of course uh, this works only in the context of this particular band. Otherwise it could have been a nice Bee Gees cover of course. This one is actually one of my favorite album covers of all times. I'm talking about Eve by the Alan Parsons Project. Um, this is a uh, design job by the famous uh, hypnosis uh, group and uh, yeah I mean it's a gatefold sleeve so it's actually a much bigger picture and uh, what's so strange about it well if you look closer you quickly realize that these beautiful women have all kind of lesions on their faces kind of looking like uh, traces of syphilis or something <laughs> so I kind of like this second look discoveries yeah on this one uh, <laughs> this needs to be shown this is Rock and Roll Prophet by Rick Wakeman which uh, doesn't look that strange at first sight at least uh, not for people of my generation probably but actually it's totally unbearable once you start to think about it uh, it's a horrendous cover just look at the teddy bears on the ground. What is that all about? So, uh, this is uh, quite in bad taste. And uh, you probably would not choose this kind of motif uh, today. But uh, 30 years ago, things were obviously a bit different. So, this were my honorable mentions so to speak now let's get to my three peculiar covers the first one is uh, is junk funk by SPK now this is a 12 inch with a very odd and not particularly good uh, track that is some sort of early euro dance music but if you know Graham Revelle and SPK then this is quite a bizarre surprise because it's nothing like the rest of the uh, of the music that this project has made so it's really strange and it's a really <laughs> ridiculous cover <laughs> and a ridiculous song the second one I've already shown this in another video is Martha Genesis by Sixcom what is that all about? some kind of a violent Icelandic atmosphere what were they thinking? <laughs> and finally, probably the ugliest cover ever printed in the history of humankind. I'm talking about Praga Khan and Jade For You and A Spoonful of Miracle, a early 90s techno 12 inch, which has this incredibly tasteless cover. It's almost unconceivable. Wasn't there anyone around that could have given them some advice? Some general rules of aesthetic <laughs> and taste? Now this is not the worst it can get. I had also looked in some of my cassette crates um, just to find out this cute little thing. This is a Japanese tape compilation from 1988. 
that came out for, on a label called NOP. Uh, and the compilation is called Sexual Organs is Beautiful. Coming with this bizarre motif. Now this is some really dark shit. <laughs> it is a Japanese industrial tape with a lot of projects that are probably all forgotten by now. Now the second part of the task was to collect three songs that express a similar level of madness or or oddity. Um, again, maybe some honorable mentions first. This is the original tape before this was released on vinyl. Um, Five Minutes After I Die by Black House. Another industrial track with some attitude. You know what, I will put some links under the video with all these finds, so uh, you can uh, <laughs> have a listen if you like. Um, the next song I had almost chosen is uh, Take Me Naked by Dakar and Grinzer, which came out on this album uh, called Are You Really Satisfied? Uh, it's quite a cool and yet pretty strange song. Again, I will put a link under the video. The next song I had in mind is I'm Broken and Spinning by Karin93. It can be found on this record. Uh, another honorable mentioning would be uh, the song Daddy Where Did I Come From by The Nice, which is pretty hilarious. Well, and now the real stuff. So first one is Burka Blue by the Burka Band. And this also came out on a nice uh, 7 inch. I still haven't bought it, but when I see it somewhere I will certainly get it. Um, the second one comes from the already mentioned Rock and Roll Prophet by Rick Wakeman. And the song is called I'm So Straight, I'm a Weirdo song that sounds exactly like the title. And finally, a little piece of beauty, um, the track Delius by Kate Bush on her Never Forever album. That would be my number one. So that was my contribution and um, who knows, maybe you like one or two tracks from this quite strange collection of uh, visual and acoustic uh, ideas and failures also. So um, have a nice day, keep it spinning and until the next time.